as the next activity we are going to create a cap and saucer in inkscape so for that application graphics inkscape vector graphics editor so as the first part we are going to create a saucer so we need three ovals so i am choosing this tool create circle ellipse and arcs then click drag and draw a oval shape and i need two more ovals so i am going to take the duplicate of this oval so first i have to choose the first tool select and transform object tool then automatically my first oval is selected then right click on the oval and choose duplicate so i got my first duplicate of the oval shape so i am dragging it downwards then i need one more so i am again selecting the first oval then right click duplicate so i got the third oval now as a next step i have to make the borders of the first oval some more darker so that it looks like the edge of the sosa so for that i am selecting the first oval then object menu fill and stroke and here in the stroke pane i am choosing the first option flat color then in the stroke style i am increasing the width of the stroke so as i increase you can see the thickness of the edges of the oval is getting increased so that it looks like a edge of the saucer again in the same way i am increasing the thickness of this oval edge of the oval also because i have to keep this oval inside the first oval so i am increasing the thickness then i have to make this oval some more smaller so i am dragging it smaller because i have to keep it inside the other oval so i am dragging it and i am placing it inside and i have to drag and make the edges appropriate and now i have to give a base for this hosa so for that i am choosing this one last oval and again here also i am increasing the stroke and making it smaller and i am adjusting and keeping it here and i have to position it to the bottom so i am choosing the option object menu lower and again once more i have to choose object menu lower so now you can see the base of this saucer last oval became the base of my saucer so now as a next step i have to group all this ovals click drag and select the three ovals then object menu and group so it became a single saucer or the three ovals are now grouped so my saucer is ready now as a next step i have to create the cup so to create the cup again i am choosing the tool create circle ellipse and arcs then first i have to create a vertical oval shape and next i have to create a horizontal oval shape so that the half portion of the vertical oval is covered and as a next step i have to select this two ovals so for that i am choosing the first tool select and transform object then click drag and select the two ovals then the next step is path difference so now my oval became the shape of a cup and as a next part i have to make the inner part of the cup so again i am choosing create circle ellipse and arcs then drawing an another oval shape then choose the first tool select and transform object then click drag and adjust the oval so that it looks like a inner part of our cup so i have to adjust the edges and i have to change the color also so here from the bottom i am choosing a white color so my cup is almost ready so i have to group this two ovals so click drag and select the two ovals then object menu group so i am dragging it some more smaller and i am keeping it here at the bottom as a next part i have to create the handle of the cup so for that again i am choosing create circle ellipse and arcs then here i have to first create a horizontal oval and then i am creating a vertical oval then i am choosing the first tool select and transform object then click drag and select the two ovals then path difference so i got the handle and dragging it some more smaller i am going to make the 
handles outline some of darker so i am increasing the stroke width and i am choosing a white color as a inner portion then drag the handle and if you click again on the same selected image you can see the arrows are changing its shape and when you see this shape you can actually rotate the image so i am rotating it and again i am dragging and keeping it closer now i have to group the handle and the cup select the first tool select and transform object then click drag and select the cup and the handle then object menu group as a next step i have to fill coffee inside it so again i am doing another oval then from the bottom i am choosing the color of coffee then i have to remove the outline of the circle so i am making the width zero in the stroke style then i am choosing the first tool select and transform object then click drag and keep the oval inside the cup so that it looks like it is filled with the coffee so i have to group it click drag and select the whole image then object menu group so now i am placing this cup here if you feel that you have to decrease the size of the cup you can decrease it by clicking on any of the arrows now i have to give a steam to my coffee so for that i am choosing this tool draw calligraph or brush stroke then i am drawing a shape like this then select the first tool select and transform object click drag and select the three shapes then choose the option blur and increase the blur value so that it looks like steam coming from the coffee then now i have to group the whole thing so click drag and select the whole image then object menu group in the next part we are going to add a text along with this of the cup and saucer so for that i am selecting the tool create rectangle and square then from the bottom i am choosing a green color then i have to click drag and draw a rectangular box then i have to add a text here so for that i am choosing this tool create an edit text object then i am clicking here i have to type the text taste the real taste of kerala so my text is here i have to make it some more bigger so i am choosing the option select and transform object i have to click drag and make the text bigger i am choosing a whiter shade selecting here a white color then i have to drag and keep the text in the rectangular box so click drag and place the text in the rectangular box now i have to give a shadow also so for that i have taking a duplicate of it so select the text then edit then duplicate now i got a duplicate here i have to drag it downwards and i have to change the color of the text and i'm making the color a blacker shade so that it looks like a shadow and i have to keep it to the bottom of it so i'm choosing the option object menu lower so my text is here and its shadow is also here now i have to group it so i have to click drag and select the text and the rectangular box then object menu group so now i grouped it and i have to drag it downwards i am keeping it here now i have to add a text in the form of a arch so for that i am selecting this tool create circle ellipse and arcs then in the start value i am giving 180 and at the end value i am giving 360 then i have to choose this option switch to arc then click drag and draw a semi circle then now i have to add a text for that i am choosing create and edit text object i am clicking here i have to type the text a kudumbasri initiative now i am changing the color of the text to red so from the bottom i am choosing a red color then now i have to select the arch and the text so i am choosing the tool select and transform object 
click drag and select the semicircle and the text then text put on path so my text is now in the semicircle or in the arch form I have to adjust the text so I am choosing again this create and edit text object click at the starting part and I have to press the space bar and adjust the text then now I am to remove the semicircle so for that I am selecting the first tool select and transform object click on the semicircle then in the fill option I have to choose no paint so my semicircle is removed now I am placing the arch above the cup now I have to group this semicircle and this text and the cup and saucer so I am choose selecting select and transform object MA again then click drag and select the whole images then object menu group I have to choose once more so now the whole text became a single one I have to include a white background to the logo so for that I am choosing create rectangles and squares and I am choosing a white color from the bottom then I have to click drag and draw a square above the text or the logo then I have to make it as a background so for that I am choosing object menu lower to bottom so now I got a background for my logo now I have to group the whole thing together so again I am choosing select and transform object then click drag and select the whole thing then object menu group as the next part we have to place this logo in a picture background and we also have to add an another text so for that first I am just minimizing my logo then next part I have to import an image to the window so for that file import school resources standard 10 bg image 3 dot jpg then click open then here another window opens up here I have to click on ok button so my image is here I am dragging it some more bigger and I am positioning my logo here my now my logo is at the back so I have to be ringing to front so for that object menu raise to top so now my logo is in the front now I have to add one more text here so for that I am selecting this tool create and edit text object I have to click here then I have to type the name that is rainbow coffee shop then I have to select it I mean changing the font here I am changing normal to bold now I am changing the phone size to 36 and I am changing the phone color to a blue now I have to drag and place it here so select and transform object click drag and place the name of the coffee shop if you want you can increase the phone size and here also if you want to increase the logo you can increase the size of the logo here then I have to increase the image some more bigger so I am clicking tracking and increasing the size of the background image now you can see my canvas is here picture what I have created is here so I have to resize my canvas so for that file menu document properties resize page to content and here I have to choose resize page to drawing or selection now you can see the change what is happening here in the window then you have to click on the close button here now you can see my canvas size has been changed according to the image what I have created now I want to export this into a PNG file so file menu export PNG image then here I have to click on export as then I am giving another file name my logo for coffee shop then I have to click on save button then here export and minimize this window we can just check it here you can see my logo for coffee shop is here double click and open. this is the logo what I have created for the coffee shop closing it then I have to quit from the window so file quit 